today we're going to talk about failure. A lot of people only show their plants that are doing really well and if you just look at things that uh, grow well for you and you only post pictures of things that look amazing, people are like, oh man, you have the biggest green thumb. Well, that's because I'm not showing you all the things that I've killed. So today I'm just going to go and show you uh, some failures and plants that are on their way out that just don't do well for me. Obviously I can't show you too many things that I've killed because once I kill them, they go in the, the uh, compost pile. But uh, just to start, I'll show you, and uh, I think a lot, of, a lot of people do this similar thing. So this is a pile of tags of plants that I have killed. And this is not, certainly not all of them. Some of these I've tried multiple times and if I don't kill something three times, I will generally try it, try it again. I'll, I'll give it three tries, sometimes more if I really like the plant and am determined to figure it out. But that's just a small sampling of what I have killed. In, in that vein, here I'm gonna show you some things that I am either in the process of killing or just are not doing that well. And also some things that I thought I killed and was managed to bring them back to life. This is a Abenaria medusa, which bloomed for me last year, looked really good. This year they all came up, and there's obviously something going on here. I don't know if it's a fungal thing or if it's insects. I, I looked and didn't see anything insect-wise, but this one looks like it may actually try to bloom. But if you look, there's just it just doesn't look all that healthy, and there's brown spots on the leaves and the bloom just something's going on there so that's just one example this is another begonia that looked really was full of leaves and i don't know if i watered it too much or if it dried out but it's lost roughly half of its leaves now, i think it'll survive but for whatever reason it's losing a ton of its leaves this is a spathophyllum a miniature that I uh, propagate. I'll show you a couple other ones, but I I attempted to separate it because it was getting crowded, and I had some friends that wanted it, and it just does just does not look healthy. So I don't know. Again, I'm not sure what's going on there. It looks like it may survive. There's a new leaf, looks fairly decent. Um, I'll show you the other the mother plant that I took it off of is over here. And since I've split it up, again, it's just not looking all that healthy. And I don't know if it's not enough water, too much water, not enough fertilizer, too much fertilizer. That's one of those things. It's probably the toughest thing to learn when you're dealing with plants is trying to figure out what's wrong because a lot of things can be too much water and too little water can look the same don't know I would consider that somewhat of a failure. It's still alive obviously but it sure doesn't look very good. This is another one of the one of the divisions that I took off of it and again doesn't look horrible but it certainly does not look very healthy. I think it's done this before where it looked like crap and then who I don't know what I did or if I did anything and then it just all of a sudden started looking good again. Here's an example of a sonorilla that again was very healthy and full looking it said looked full like this this is obviously a different kind but looked really full and then it just started maybe just got too dry once because these are really sensitive if they dry out boy they just fall apart so i don't know if that's what happened here this is a let's see what is this this is cynorchus jubosa so this is a it's an orchid that goes dormant and when it came up I had it on a shelf and I didn't realize it had come up. So then when I started watering it, the new growth died back and I kind of left it in my sights and it just started coming back and now it looks like it's gonna survive. That's another one that almost killed. This is, hang on, I have to get the tag. This is the mother plant and it is a, I'll, I'll get the name in the description because I can't remember it offhand. But anyway, I've had this forever obviously really full. It's never bloomed for me. You can see the leaves are kind of yellowing and obviously it's it's 
probably needs to come out of this basket, but it is chock full. So I tried to make a division out of that, and this is what I got. <laughs> and it's alive, but it certainly is not flourishing. It's probably too dry here in this spot, but that is another example of failure. This is a Pleurothallis, Pleurothallis tige, that was doing really well and all of a sudden the ends of the leaves are starting to do this. Uh, I cut off a, a bunch of them, I don't know if it's fungal, um, but a lot of them are starting to do that. I repotted it, replaced some of the sphagnum, put it in a bigger pot. Not sure if that's the problem. So that is a Pleurothallis tige, and I have a Pleurothallis gigant or gargantua. Yeah, Pleurothallis gargantua that is doing a similar thing, where the the leaves are just getting this funk. And again, I don't know if it's fungal or what. So I treated it with some antifungal. Again, it doesn't look dead, but it certainly doesn't look healthy either. That is Pleurothallis gargantua, and. Again, don't know really what's going on. Uh, this guy, Pleurothallis regal, if I can get a full spirit, finally put out a new leaf, but this is one that I had on the wall over here. Had it up on this wall, was doing really well seemingly, and then it put out this leaf, and it was that's what it looked like from the get-go. And I was like, that doesn't look right. So I pulled it off the wall, put it in this pot down here, and uh, the next leaf looked a little better, that's this one. And now the brand new leaf actually looks pretty good. Not too bad. But that's one that also, <laughs> it was, uh, it was, looks like it was on its way out, so I took it off the wall and put it in a pot and it seems to have helped it out. And looks like it's going to bloom here, which is a good sign. This guy, this is Bacarii crossed with a kind of labium. They call it Bacchinolabium. And every time it throws up a new growth, and you can see the one here, it throws up this growth, it gets about maybe two or three inches long, and then it dies back. And it's done that three times at this growth point, and now it's throwing out another one here. But every time it gets maybe two or three inches, it goes brown and dies off. And I don't know if it's because it's getting wet and not drying, or if it's get, not getting enough water. I don't know. But that is one that I can't figure out, and I seem to be determined to kill it. This is uh, sorry, Phalaenopsis schilleriana. I had four huge leaves. It bloomed. And then the leaves started dying off one by one by one. These things are usually susceptible to crown rot, so I don't know if I was watering too much and the crown was rotting, but I reduced the watering and I'm kind of really careful about, I don't spray this internal, this middle part. I just kind of try and get the roots and some of this outside. And it seems to have recovered a little bit. I've got a couple new growths, new leaves on there, so maybe that one will survive. But that's prime example of just about killing something, and then now it seems to be coming back. This is Dendrobrium platygastrium, and I got this. I really like the way the the reeds or uh, stems were they're flat, and for some reason I am trying my best to kill it. And it's actually bloomed, but I cannot get consistent growth. I, I tried more light, I tried less light, I tried getting it more water. I don't know what's going on, but it does not look happy. And I would doubt this is going to survive. I've gotten some new growths that immediately die. So again, I don't really know what's going on there, but this is just another dendro. I don't really do well with dendrobiums. I don't know if th this room is not, oh, there you go. This room is not really, not really ideal for them and it seems to be losing most of its growth here again I don't know if it's too much water not enough water not enough light but it clearly is not happy as I'm pulling everything that's dead off 
So here's another few examples of things that I thought I had killed, but sort of came back. So this is a Labesia. I think they believe, believe they call it turtleback. And it was basically, I had it in a different terrarium. And it was just the stem. And uh, it, it basically, it looked like this when I got it. Then all the leaves eventually fell off one by one. And then I was like, well, let me try it somewhere else. It clearly doesn't like where I have it. So I put it in this, uh, this enclosure that gets misted and is probably 100% in humidity at all times. So it's, it closes up, it's got a mist head. It's, and it seems to have come back. Now the question is, now that it's back, can I move it into something that has less humidity? This is a, I'm not gonna remember the name of it, but all the leaves have fallen off and it's just starting a new growth. And this was one that I imported, so it could be import shock. It looks like it's doing a little bit better, although one of these leaves is kind of getting black, which is not a good sign. This is another import that looked to be on its way out. This is Philogatus, and it basically lost all its leaves, but I kept the stem in there, and sure enough, it's been a few months, and now it's got its leaves back. The other thing I did is as the leaves were dying, I took one and put it in one of these containers. I said, let me see if it's going to die, so let me see if I can at least make a leaf propagation. So I took the remaining leaf that was dying and put it in this sphagnum moss. You can see the main leaf is there, but now it's got some new growth coming off of it. So... If you have something that you think is dying, try to propagate it, because you never know. So in this case, even if the main plant hadn't come back, I'd still have a, a replacement. This is another uh, jewel orchid. This is a Malaxis. And this is one that I got, and it immediately died all the way back to the stem. And I said, well, let me, let me put it in here, because uh, I had this other Malaxis that I just divided. This is Malaxis hoy, and the, this has done real. This did the same thing, and when I got it in, everything died back. I put it in this in one of these terrariums, and it came back and is doing really well now. So I did the same thing with this guy. It was dead. I don't know if you can see the original dead. Uh, well, I guess it's not quite dead, but anyway, that was that was what it was, and it now threw out this new growth. So there's another one that I tried to kill, but. It uh, seems like it's going to make it, and I'm happy about that. So just know if you are in, w dealing with plants long enough, you're going to kill a lot of plants, and it's just part of the deal. And hopefully you learn from, you lose something, uh, or if you, you know, have something that's almost about to die and you manage to rescue it, well, you know, you learn something. Um, and never give up. Always, you know, even if it's on its way out and dying, take that leaf cutting, see if you can propagate it. You never know. You'll be very surprised at how resilient and how they, they can come back from, from, from near death or death. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and take care. Bye.